This morning, we're going to continue our journey of visiting different vineyards today and pick up where we left off yesterday. Hey, where are we? Oh yeah. So we started out at Mario Andretti Winery. Owned by Mario Andretti, the famous race car driver, and Joe Antonini, former Kmart CEO. So there are a number of wine tours through Napa Valley, which is actually a pretty good idea if you like drinking a lot of wine. And when we arrived at this one, we noticed a tour bus just pulled up right after us. So we were like booking it, trying to get in before the group. So this area here actually is part of the 40 acres of the Andretti Vineyard and these are the established wine uh, vines I guess you call them and then over on this side is a field that actually is being replanted. Okay, little exaggeration here. Mark really wasn't that drunk. So we're waking up this morning for our second day to hit some wineries again. I have to be honest with you, last night I didn't sleep real well. Uh, I had a trivial amount of wine, but it kind of did me in. Wow, that's two times on camera that you... Uh, remembered to lock the rig. I locked it. Okay, in case nobody's noticed, Mark is holding the camera, and I am the official mule of the family, so I have to carry everything. <laughs> well, you know, the viewers probably like the fact that the camera is very steady. <laughs> and and All I, right, yeah. let's go. <laughs> let's go. Come on. All right, and I already did turn the water off. Day two in Napa, we're going to a... Uh, a winery that has a gondola, gun, how do you say it? Gondola. Gondola. Don't know the name of it, we'll let you know. And then we're also going to the Castle Winery. Correct. We'll let you know the name of that too. Yeah, the gondola place is called Sterling and the other one is Costigo or something like that. We'll figure it out. <laughs> You're just as good as me. <laughs> We're at the Sterling Vineyard right now, and this is the one vineyard that we know of that has uh, um, an air tram that takes us up to their tasting room. And uh, we're going to take that ride up there, and we get a chance to try their different wines, buy it, and we're supposed to have a fantastic view. So. We made it to the tasting room perched 300 feet above Calistoga via the aerial tram ride. What a fantastic view. 
This is where we started a self-guided tour of the winery. Sometimes to get the full aroma, you have to use a unconventional technique, which I'm okay with because I'm originally from Wisconsin. Come on, Sue, we've got a lot to taste. What's that cork smell? Good. I get the tr I get the true aroma of the Sauvignon. And Sauvignon. It's a Sauvignon. It's a little embarrassing, but you know, you gotta you gotta deal with it. So I'm enjoying the nutty, but yet somewhat fruity essence of uh, my drink here. And somehow, there's also a smoky infused flavor. And before we go, I'm just gonna get a little bit more. This is the 2019 uh, Napa Valley water wine version. Coming into the last tasting out on the terrace. Incredible view. Wow, it's amazing, but zoom in over here. Okay. I think that's where we're going next. The uh. Castillo de Amoresa, the castle winery. So we're going there next. That's what I need. More, More wine. wine. <laughs> <laughs> this is for the real wine drinkers. It's not glass. It's got a... a Slurpy top, like a toddler. No spilling. <laughs> Maybe I'll just get video of you ah. going down. We can do the video handoff. Uh -huh. Yes. Still, still enjoying your water? Your vintage 19 or 2019 water? Is that water? Yeah, that's water. Oh. <laughs> Can't you tell? <laughs> well, there was such such a bouquet that uh, I love this little direction change. <laughs> you know, when you're from Wisconsin, you'll take any ride you can get. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a poster of all the things people want to do before they die. And somebody wants to be a winemaker, somebody wants to go to Hawaii, or be an artist, or hold a monkey, or be a pop star. But truly, the person that wrote this has got it all figured out. Because before they die, they want to be full-time RV with the person they love. And you know what? I've already done that and am doing that. And the last winery for us to visit was the Castello de Amorosa. That's the Castle of Love. <laughs> Thank you.
The founder of this winery was inspired to build a 13th century Tuscan castle, stone by stone, to honor his Italian heritage. And this actually is a working winery. After decades of researching medieval castles, Dario Satui began building what turned out to be a 15-year project in 1993. So in the distance, you can see the Sterling Winery that we were at and you can see the 350 feet that we were taken up on that gondola. Satui was determined to make this castle authentic in every way, using old materials and built with the same methods and materials that were used 700 years ago. 8,000 tons of local hand squared stones on eight levels, four of them are below, and there are 107 rooms. All doors are made by Italian artisans and windows with leaded glass. So here we and there's are just so much in more. The great hall in the castle. I think we can have a really nice dinner party here. Yeah. We can invite all our friends. Yeah, we'd even have enough room for all of our subscribers if everybody sat on each other's lap. <laughs> right now. As of April 23rd, we have 125 subscribers. So they could all easily fit in here and party. So maybe we'll have to have a get together. Hmm. Yes, my son, tell me your sins. Father, I was at a really, really, really nice winery today and I did a bad thing. I, just to be funny, I took two corks and I, I stuck them up my nose and it was such a nice winery. I shouldn't have did that in front of everybody on camera. I'm really sorry. You know, my son, sometimes things like that, that maybe initially don't seem appropriate, they actually are. So don't worry about it. Continue to have fun visiting us here in the Napa Valley. And I might suggest go to the castle tour because one thing about that place is they've got a good variety of things to do and see, and they're a very forgiving winery. <laughs> Notes of black plum and raspberry oh. with a hint of white smoke mm. and pepper. Here's what I like. I like the breadsticks. So the wines that I have been trying, the first one I tried was, was one way up here. And that was just to get my palate ready. Right. Even though you could probably put a 
a handful of gravel in my pallet. And then the second one that I had was that one. The Yeah. And it was very sweet and it was great and I thought it was my favorite. But then she showed us this one with the star. Love. Yes, and so far I would say that is my favorite. And it actually seems like it has more, uh, it, it's almost like it's got a little carbonation in it, which I'm sure is ridiculous. But I'm predicting that the one that I'm going to like the best is this one, only because you don't have Hawaiian punch. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so all these bottles are autographed by the owner. And here's one that I could afford to drink on special occasions. It's 375 milliliters. But as you go up in size, and they're signed by Gary Satucci, you get up to this giant one right here, which is called the Goliath, and it's 27 liters. I looked up the price, and it's about $8,000. When you have an $8,000 bottle of wine, you have to have a $10,000 holder for your bottle in which you crank the crank and it tilts it and your wonderful hostess can serve it. So you basically got 18000 invested in the wine for your guests. Okay, so we got the Royal Knight Wine Caddy for the man that does not have everything yet. So was it a medieval restroom? Yes, it was. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it was pretty classy because one of the spigots was Pino Grigio, and the other one was Cabernet. And as we exit the castle, this is what we see, a livestock. Very cool. done with uh, the tours of the wine uh, vineyards that we went to and I'm telling you I look at these rows and rows of vines that have to be hand picked and selected each and every one and leave some behind and come back and get it on the second or third harvest I'm I'm tired just thinking about it so Sue let's go back we had a lot of wine now let's ride back to the rig and have some cheese and crackers. Excellent.